Cindy in the kitchen, Cind. <laughs> Thanks very much, you two. Hey, remember when making bread used to be an all-day affair? Jeff Hertzberg is the author of Healthy Bread in Five Minutes a Day, and he is here in the daytime kitchen, and he tells us that you can really make bread quickly at home, right, Jeff? That's right. I don't believe you. It's true. <laughs> um, we're talking about the active time only, and in the second book, Healthy Bread in Five Minutes a Day, we used whole grains, which all of our readers are on artisanbreadin5.com were telling us they wanted. You wrote artisan bread in five minutes a day. How about doing the same thing with whole grains? How so about I, it? Because I it's so much it. healthier. So this is uh, five and a half cups of uh, uh, whole wheat flour, two cups of all-purpose, and then there's a bunch of other ingredients, but not much salt, yeast, and vital wheat gluten, which you have to use if you're going to use a lot of whole grains. So okay. I'm going to just dump that in there. Same method as the first book. Tablespoon and a half or less of, you can use a tablespoon of um, yeast and um, salt. Mix it around. I usually remember to bring a, a wire whisk, but a spoon works just as well. Great. Um, just to get the vital wheat gluten all in there. Four cups of water all at once. Just dump it all in. Now you're going to get a workout, right, Jeff? And now not much of a workout because it's a very wet dough. Mm. It's kind of hard to see from there. I have to ask you how you yeah. became such a bread expert. I was obsessed with it since I was a kid. And when I was in medical school, I started to bake. And uh, after medical school, my wife taught me how to really do it. Oh, well, it I've been obsessed with bread as well, but not enough to learn how to make it, just to eat it. Well, this really is it. This now sits on the counter for two hours, about. Oh, so it's really five minutes Active for it to only. actually do something, rise, right? Right. Okay. But, 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 well, five minutes was to just get everything mixed. This is going to make four loaves of bread. Oh. So everything I did actively gets divided by that. I got This you. sits on the counter for, t for two hours. Then through the miracle of television, we have one in the refrigerator. Now, um, that's been on the on there for two hours. And then when did it go in the after refrigerator? The two, uh, anytime after two hours, it can go in the fridge. Then for two weeks, it can store in the fridge. Now, that's the key, right? That's Putting the it in key. the fridge. If you don't put it in the fridge, you're not going to save the time because it isn't ready. And you can see I've got a very wet sort of loose dough Ooh. that most people would say is too wet, but it isn't. It isn't. So I'm going to sprinkle <laughs> some flour on it, mm -hmm. pull out a piece, and cut it off. Oh, you do, I you. do this every day or even twice a day. How much bread do you go through? I eat a lot of bread. <laughs> and look at you. You're not, a lot of people think if they eat a lot of bread, they're just going to get huge. It's a myth. It's how much you eat total. But um, you eat a lot. <laughs> I eat a lot of bread. Well, I eat less of something else. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so I understand. I'm going to flatten this out. You know, it's getting to be summer now. Yes. And so a lot of people don't want to heat up their ovens. No. In the house. So? so they can make pizza and flatbread right on the grill outside. That's oh, what I'm going to do. How wonderful. How badly do I want to throw this up in the air if I'm going to make pizza? Go for it. All right. I'll First, I'm going to roll it out a bit. <laughs> so what do out. you put on your bread, Jeff? Do you um, put a load of butter like I do? Or? I put butter oh. or olive oil or pizza toppings. Mm. So you get it like this in each hand. I could make a pita bread out of this or a pizza. Oh, you're good. So we'll do that. I got I'm flour on us. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, you keep doing that because <laughs> I, I see a challenge coming oh, okay. up. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. You do it. I just, I think if... You put a little of this on your hands, right? right? Put it on your hands and go ahead and put it, put it on. Uh, Oops. Oh, okay. that was that. that just was take, take the whole lump. <laughs> okay. Okay, now just go ahead and do it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do while you're doing that is I'm going to get it on a pizza peel uh -huh. like this. And if you feel like making just a pita bread, not a pizza, you can just make a sesame pita today. So I'm going to paint some water on it with a pastry brush. Paint a little water on it. And just sesame seeds are what I like on that one. And then I have got a hot grill going outside. Nice. And I'm just your regular put, barbecue. Just an ordinary guy coming home from work. Uh huh. And I put it out here. I stretch it out on the grill. Three minutes on a side on medium. Depends on your grill how how long you need. Um, and then flip it. And, and that's it. With a, with a closed top. A gas grill is much easier to do than anything else. So uh, you're getting there. Use a little. Use more flour. Okay, use more flour. I've got this. Use lots now. of flour because it's a very wet dough. You're right. It is. It is a wet okay. dough. The flatbreads we make are the fastest thing we have, though, because they don't need any rise time. If we were making one of the ones we've got out here, uh -huh. those have got to sit for 90 minutes, and that doesn't count in the five minutes a day. Either. Does not count. Just right. the flatbread. And what you can do now, if it's sticking to the to the table, is uh -huh. use that scraper. Get under it. Good. And now drape it over your arm. Drape it over my arm. Say, okay. You, you, this is pretty good, actually. It's actually <laughs> Who's very hungry? Good. And throw it. 
<laughs> oh no, Jeff. Yeah, I'm going to I need to have an apprentice. Okay. I'm going well, to have we, to just we, we can fix this. Watch then. you closely. Um, so I've cooked that five minutes. We're good. We right. put something healthy on it. That's right. And we've got a wonderful lunch. That's right. Or dinner. It's a pocket bread. It's beautiful, Jeff. Thank you. Healthy. Uh, his book is Healthy Bread in Five Minutes a Day, as well as his first book, Artisan Bread in Five Minutes a Day. See how easy that was? Those two books are available in stores now. <laughs> Jeff, thank you. Thank you. I can't Cindy. wait to get into that. Coming up, do your kids suffer from ear infections? Remedies are on the way with the herbal pharmacist. Stay tuned. It's looking pretty good, I it's think. It's looking really good. <laughs>